Hello, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Noita. So today we're going to try playing this game in a sort of unconventional way. Instead of just going in here and then heading down, clearing out this area, and then heading deeper and deeper. Uh, we're going to backtrack, go to the pyramid. We're going to try to. We're going to go to a place called the Dark Cave that's down in here, past the collapsed mines, all the way to the west. And then from there, we're going to try to get to the uh, Twisty Passages biome. This, these are all secrets that this game holds. Many, many secrets this game has, including alchemy. Perfect. Now, so yeah, uh, well, we have one of the pieces of the puzzle. Boom, right here. Chaotic polymorphine, right? It's chaotic? Yeah. Chaotic's darker pink. And the regular polymorphine flask. It's like a light pink. Um, so we're just going to see what we could find right here. Uh, we have oil everywhere. Now, I'm going to keep that there for now. Aha! This will help. This will definitely help. Tremendously. Tremendously. And it'll also help me demonstrate something. So, the alchemy. Okay, we got a fire flask. I'm not going to throw it. I'm going to right click it to do this. And as the oil all burns away, woo! Okay, hang on. <laughs> it was kind of the, uh, it's like spraying gasoline, you know? So we just want to keep spraying it out until it's empty. Then we have this empty bottle. What do we do with an empty, well, empty flask? Just go in a liquid and fill that thing up. See? We could fill it up with water. Now you have water flask. And there's like a secret in this game. I don't know any of the formula yet. Formulae. But uh, you could create, there's one effect that I know of, it's, you could turn, you can make a flask by mixing certain percentages of other liquids together and other materials together, and you create a flask that when you spray it into any liquid, it turns that liquid into gold. So, uh, yeah. Lots of very interesting things in this game that, uh, you know... People don't really realize until you experiment. The game has a crazy amount of depth. Here's another chaotic polymorphine flask. Uh, so now I have three bombs. We have what we need. I think I'm going to go try to get to the dark caves first. And then after that, we're going to go to the pyramid. Because the pyramid has... Uh, we're going to do a lot of backtracking. The pyramid, if... What we need the water flask for is, you know, the toxic sludge, that poison green stuff that's around every everywhere, pretty much. Uh, in the pyramid, there's a giant vat of it. And inside that vat are three wands that are usually pretty nice wands. But in order to get it, you have to deal with the toxic sludge first. You can either take damage by it, and it always, toxic sludge doesn't kill you. It reduces you to, I think, 5% HP. So, it won't completely kill you. But, you know. If we don't have to take that damage, this is unfortunate, but it's fine. If we don't have to take that damage, then we don't want to. Now, what we're doing over here, we're not going above the tree or anything like that. I need to get the egg. Because this egg is guaranteed to always spawn a worm. See, check this out. Alright. I could press down and drink the water. Most pe A lot of people know about this by now. You know, you just drink the water. You could eat uh, the remains of your enemies as well. All right, so we got to work down and over to the west. The toxic sludge. We need... We have this water flask because... Oh my god, you got a wand too? Use the wand. Good. Worse aim. They're harder to hit me with that. Well, don't speak too soon, buddy. Okay. Yeah, just go over there. I don't care. The wand would be nice, but, uh... You're probably gonna use all the charges on it anyway. Oh! Nice, okay. Eh, uh, give me this, and boom. I'm glad I didn't get set on fire or anything. And we got water right here, so that's good. I just drank a bunch of it, though. So yeah, the water flask is for the pyramid, 
Uh, and you can neutralize the poison. You just spray water in the toxic sludge. And uh, it'll neutralize it. Collapsed mines. Now hopefully we can get through this quickly. We gotta head down a little bit. Not too far down. It's probably... Can you please... For some reason I have like a lot of trouble hitting the frogs. What are you guys doing? Just gonna keep heading this way. And I'm sure like if you've explored this area, you've probably seen... What I'm about to show you. Let me get this chest. It might be something really good. Don't hit me. It's 79 HP. Good. That was not a bomb. It's always nice when the treasure is not a bomb. You know? Very nice. I like that. <laughs> I like not getting blown up. Actually, I could probably stand to lose a little bit of water. So let's just spray a little bit out. Good. Alright, now. Are we too high up? We're looking for this. No, we're right here. So look, if you go over here, it's all dark. This is the dark cave. And it's full of water. So it's very difficult to survive in there. However, there is a little bit of a secret. Another secret. The eggs, the, the worms. If you kill a worm. Woo, we got a big one. Oh my God, that's not good. That is not good. Uh, well, he's going to help me drain the water, but hopefully he doesn't kill me. Hopefully he also doesn't destroy the loot. I think he's gone, though. Alright, so the water's all draining. We can't see in here, though. But, but, worm blood. Worm blood, drinking worm blood allows you to see in the dark. It gives you a slight, uh... Let me see how... Okay, so there's still a lot of water in here. Yeah, it gives you a slight uh, night eye or night vision effect. Now, I'm going to drink all of it. See? Check that out. And let's just try to be quick with this. The water's still draining. Dark Cave has extra max health. One. Okay. Let's go back down here. We might start dying a little bit right here. Oh, it's up that way. Or down that way. I might die right now. Get up there. We have 4 HP. The interesting thing, I'm going to start drinking this water too. Because we have to go down and around. The very interesting thing, let me kill you. Please. Okay. Is. That's a plus max health. Okay. But the other one is a full heal. This is one of the, I, the only area that I know of. Other than in the uh, Holy Mountain areas between biomes. This is the only healing that I know about. Besides like the healing spell you can get that like is extremely difficult to use. Because it shoots very quickly. You need like a boomerang shot in order to hit yourself with it. But yeah, this will full heal you. So very, very useful. Especially right now I only have 4 HP. So I'm just going to drink water. And then try to work my way down. Um, the worm helped a lot, actually. But my night vision is probably going to wear off pretty soon. That's the problem. So I'm trying to drink this water fast enough. To uh, hopefully... We got to go down and around. And yeah, I think I have like a minute of night vision left. Alright guys, my night vision is about to run out. So I think the water might be low enough. The worm helped create a bunch of little pockets. So let's see. I mean, the water might be low enough. I think I said high enough. All right, yeah. But yeah, we're about to run out. So let me just get in here. Let's try to get the max first. Perfect. So 150 max, that's not the best, but we got full heal now. See? Amazing. Now, we could go into the Twisty Passages area. I'll show that off a little bit. Um, I guess I'm going to use a bomb to get through this, because, yeah. Alright. Perfect. So, Twisty Passages is a very cramped space. Uh, and it's underneath the snow biome, that, like, the surface snow biome, the snowy wastelands. 
and I haven't found a way out of it. I think it's just, you could go in here, get a bunch of gold. It's a good way to farm money because it's full of enemies. And they're fairly easy to kill without taking damage, or without taking much damage, which I just took. And it's also, curiously, full of all different kinds of potions. So, this is kind of a really good- Whoa, you're back! Oh my god, <laughs> he's back. No, no. It's a, it's a really good spot to do some, like, alchemy experimentation, mixing things together. Because, yeah, you can, uh, there's pockets of all different kinds of potions everywhere. I could just go in here, teleport there. Let's not set ourselves on fire, please. I think that would be great. And the worm is still alive. I wish he would... Oh, crap. Okay. Don't teleport away. Um, I could try to bottle a bunch of worm blood, I think. It would be great if I could do that. All right. Good. Empty flask. Uh, now I just need to go over here. Follow the worm track. Worm trail. <laughs> of destruction. Down. He really destroyed this place. Wow. And then, let's just fill up with worm blood. See? And it actually, look at how much we're fitting in there. Nice. So now we have a full flask of worm blood. Excellent. And uh, I could drink the rest. Let me just drink a bunch. See? Oh, wow. Look at that. We're getting a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit too much worm blood I just drank. But yeah, now I could just make my way back through the dark cave now that we can see everything. And I'm just going to work my way up to the surface again. And we're going to head to the pyramid. I already showed, you know, how to get there in a previous video. So let me just do that right now. All right, guys, we're here at the pyramid at the last. It took uh, it takes like several minutes to get here. I wanted to save a bomb for this. We have one more left just in case we need it inside. I'm not going to go up for the tablet or anything yet. But uh, we got to carefully get through here because there could be some trouble. There probably will be some trouble. There's uh, a couple guardians now. We're going to use this, I think. Try to uh, snipe these guys from around the corners. Hopefully I don't get into really deep trouble quickly. Like, you know, some of the enemies from off screen can snipe you before you get a chance to really notice. Uh, we got an alchemist right there. I'm, I don't want to... If I don't have to fight something, I'm not going to mess with it. There are traps in here too. That's a trap right there. It's like an arrow trap. So, here are the wands. We got one big one in there. Okay. And that's obviously the giant container of toxic... Hmm. Toxic sludge. Now, these guys are a little easy. They're not that bad. Here, come here. They're fast, but they don't shoot anything. The, the bigger one, ones, the mama, Mama Beelzebub. She will shoot uh, the Path of Dark Flame at you, which is like... Ow. Okay, maybe we don't talk the smack. We almost got pushed right into lava, although the top of it hardened because of all the blood, some of which is mine. <laughs> if I had the vampirism perk, that would be nice. I could drink the blood. Uh, Alright, now, let's see. Let's see what we've got here. What are we working with? Of course. All right, don't, we, we need to be careful. Let me just uh, not set myself on fire, not die to getting hit by that. Yeah, I'm just going to do hit and run tactics here. But if you get a wand that has that effect on it, the uh, projectile that this enemy was shooting, that's, and if you could get homing on it, forget about it. That's like a great wand right there. I actually had a run where I got through. I haven't beaten this yet. I haven't really tried. I experiment too much. But I've gotten through the vault and almost through the final area. I think the final area. Oh, uh, hey. Final area, I think, is like the temple. Can't remember. Ah, come on. Stop. Take care of you, please. If I can do this. So yeah, we're gonna need 
our last bomb here. Right? Do I have anything else? I have the fire bomb. Does this blow through there? It does. Alright, let me just carefully... So I, I want to save my... My bomb. Alright. Now, I'm just going to use the rest of this water. Oh, is it already? I think it might already be full of water. But, uh, just in case, let me... Yeah, this is all water. Okay, that's good. We've already neutralized it somehow. Interesting. Well, that's good. Probably from the water that was up here. It doesn't take much. It does not take much to neutralize. There we go. Wait, one more. Boom. Alright, so that'll drain very quickly. Now I don't have to mess around with that anymore. Good. And then here, yes, we're going to take that instead. <laughs> and check this out. Alright, that's pretty good. It's crazy though. I could end up killing myself pretty easily with that. And then our second one is just that. Uh, none of these shuffle, which is, that's nice. So this is, it's got a, whatever, okay. And then we've got this. Let's check this out. Or the first one. I mean, that's pretty cool. I've had something like that before. I've almost died because of it. And then this one, what does this have? Ten blood mist. Yeah, we'll take that instead. Alright, I want to keep this one. Okay, now I'm going to... We're not really going to explore in here. Uh, this, the pyramid, leads down into the sand caves. And uh, it's very difficult. Anyway, I'm going to pick up the tablets. And we're going to trade them in for more money. Now, pick that up, pick that up, and let's just get some money real quick. What is that? Why is there a plant growing up here? Interesting. All right, good. Got a bunch of gold. Get some more. Ah, perfect. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's basically what I wanted to show in this video. Uh, just a, an alternate start to your run. You could spend a good hour before you even decide to really advance past the mines. And then the alchemy, like I said, I don't know much about it yet. I have to experiment with a lot of different liquids. There is an alchemy channel on the, the official Discord where people share all their findings. So it's worth checking that out if you're interested in this. And let me know in the comments down below if you find any potions. If you find any interesting combinations that create really cool flasks. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Peace.